forgot? It's Ross. Your father is dead. I'm deeply sorry for your loss. <laughs> James! Would now be a good time to talk, sir? I guess. Erica here from the company uh, would like to talk to you about your father's wishes. Let me, let me guess. You want me to run this pig dog of a company and she's here to talk me into it? Actually, no. Your father was well aware of your dislike for his company and, believe it or not, had no succession plan for you. His considerable shares in the company will be yours, provided that certain criteria are met, of course. Kind of criteria? Well, for one, your father requires that you go to Newtown College. In Boston? <laughs> no way. I have no interest in rich kids and their petulant bullshit. If I may, sir, Zulu is planning to make a very large donation to the college, and I think your time there would be much better than you plan or expect it to be. So you're telling me I have to go to college, and I have to be the one kid whose father bought a building in order to force my hand? You don't have to go. Zulu would employ you with a senior level management position and you could continue to stay here in Seattle and work. Work for Zulu. Never. What you guys do is barbaric. Jesus! Zulu really is a bunch of assholes, huh? If you don't go to college and you don't work for Zulu, you'll be forced to sell your father's shares, you'll have to move out of this house, give up everything you've been accustomed to, your electronics equipment, your video games, your computers, even James would return to Zulu. You can't take James. He's part of the family. Mr. Peterson, you have until the end of the week to decide. I'll just see myself out. Yeah, right, yeah. Just decide. <laughs> you keep your job and it's also the only way that we can keep the lawyers off my back and is also the best way that you and I can maintain the lifestyle that we've become so accustomed to. I understand. You should come see us when we're settled in Boston. Maybe, but I'm not so sure I'm a big fan of that faux oh, intellectualism there. Oh, no, don't worry. That's a Cambridge thing. Cambridge, not Boston. Two cities divided by a river and their mutual distaste for each other. Oh? Yeah. Cambridge is indeed shit. We will not be going there. <sighs> I hate it. Well, that makes sense. Sounds like a hellhole. Yeah. I apologize for conflating Cambridge with Boston. No. No worries, Les. Just tell everyone you know that Cambridge is filled with a bunch of jerks who went to MIT in, like, the late 70s, and now they walk around like they invented the fucking jet engine. That's oddly specific. I understand. College. I have to show why I attended, so. What do I do, James? If I don't go to college, you go back to Zulu. <laughs> if only. 
I could send you to do my class as well. You know, I pursued my passion, like electronics. That could work, right? Make a call. I mean, the whole idea is preposterous. You, it's ludicrous. It's totally ridiculous. You knew my father, Dean Gaffney. You're aware of just how much money he threw into this place? I don't think it should be a problem. But what would he study? Um... Uh... <laughs> so what are your plans for the next four years? Uh, I don't really know. I, I guess I should get a job. I've never really done anything with my life, so I don't really know what I want to do. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> well, Scott, I can't make any guarantees. I don't even know if this place will be here in a month. Okay. Well, it seems like a decent place. It just needs some customers. Law office is upstairs. Macmillan Associates. They want to shut down the bar and make this all into office space. I'll just tell them no. Doesn't matter. If I can't come up with the rent, my landlord's gonna throw me out anyway. How much do you owe? Sixty thousand dollars. Wouldn't have me know any rich kids with that kind of money, would you? <laughs> hey, professor. Serving animals in here now? That's low. Even for you. Trash. Uh, hey, man, that animal happens to be a clever ape. Oh, really? If this ape is so clever, why doesn't he ask the professor here to enroll him in law school? After all, law school is for the real elite, the chosen few. So, uh, if this ape graduates with a law degree, I'll buy your stupid bar bag. Challenge accepted. <laughs> well, James, better make it an early night. Class has started at 8.30 a.m. This is a nightmare. James, you're supposed to be studying. The professor's counting on you. So am I. Get the books, or you can kiss that mini golfing trip goodbye. We are live at Newtown College in Boston, Massachusetts, at the site of the animal rights protest over the controversial decision to build a new research wing paid for by Seattle animal export company, Zulu. Zulu, founded by Jefferson Peterson in 1964, founded in, um, in a 1964, Sack. Founded in 1964 by Jefferson Peterson, um, has bases all along the Ivory Coast where they capture animals and ship them in crates to Seattle where they're often sold into captivity. Word on the street is Peterson's heir apparent, Scott Peterson, is attending Newtown, though an anonymous source from the college indicates he's been seen partying in the back bay until 3 a.m. Just what Zulu is really doing here in Boston remains to be seen. Is the new Peterson hoping to set up an East Coast office? This is June O'Connor for Channel 5 News. Founded in 1964 by Jefferson Peterson, um, has bases all along the Ivory Coast. Um, has bases all along the Ivory Coast. And in another shocking revelation in this whole Zulu situation, it appears Scott Peterson has sent his pet orangutan to the protest as a mockery. Scott Peterson, if you're watching this, please call Channel 5 immediately and explain yourself.
This is June O'Connor. Hi, June. Yeah, this is Scott Peterson. I have to put an end to this right now. This is getting out of hand. Scott, let's do this face to face. I'll bring a camera down and we can get this on the public record. All right, I'll be with JJ Foley's. I'll see you at 9 a.m. Scott, don't miss it. Okay, uh, I want to set the record straight here. I'm not my father. I know what he did, and I want you to know I'm not like that. Further, I think Zulu are crooks. Okay? I'm only here because they blackmailed me. They threatened my family butler, and they implied they would put our family pet in captivity. I don't really even want to attend Newtown. Like, Zulu is forcing my hand in that as well, okay? In fact, I can't think of anywhere else I'd rather be. Well, you know, I don't want to be like my father either. He works for Macmillan and Associates, and they're hell-bent on taking over your bar and converting it into a steakhouse for greedy executives. That's disgusting. All right, so I'm a vegan, and I want to turn this bar into a force for good. Dad, I need to let you know that Scott Peterson, he has an orangutan working at his bar. I, oh, I cannot stand the jerk. You know, for a man who claims to be all about animal rights, he's all about animal wrongs. Look, isn't there anything we can do legally or less so? I don't even think he's attending Newtown. So you think he's sending the monkey instead? I would not put it past that creep. He's just trying to appease his father's last wishes. Probably gonna use the money and the power to do some other disgusting things. Don't worry, sweetie. I'll take care of this. They don't call me the exterminator for nothing. Dad, they don't call you that. They don't call me Jim Savage for nothing. Dad, please do not say that. Okay. Hi, Mac Jr.? Yeah. The Rat King is going out on the town. We discussed this. You're the Rat King. You're the Rat King. Yeah. You're the Rat King. I know there were a lot of jello shots, but I still expect you to remember sinister plans. Right. Thank you. Now deploy the hawk. We need to keep the pressure on Newtown to adopt a completely vegan campus. Yes. Yeah, we yes. can't hey, have this yeah, happen. Can I say something? No, I actually gotta say what? something. Sorry. Uh, okay, so <laughs> I know my words may seem shallow. Yes. I know you have no reason to believe me. You know. um, I I'm not my father. Uh, I am not responsible for the crimes of Zulu, but I take them on my shoulders. Nonetheless, because to me, like the innocent slaughtered, Zulu is already dead. Eat shit, owl yeah. fucker. Um, my interests include uh, electronics, animal rights, and the spirit world. Yes. All Which right. is why all right. I am publicly encouraging all of you to dump your stocks, yeah. whoever has stocks yeah. in this yeah. fucking company. Yeah. And help me drive this goddamn company into the ground, okay? Right. Yes, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, in case you don't know where I'll be working, I'll be working at uh, TJ Foley's as a bar scientist, where we're only serving vegan foods. Woo! Yeah. 
Sweet. And we'll be helping anyone against the struggle against the new town, okay? Excellent. All right. Sweet. We can do it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Mr. Scott, so good to hear your voice, sir. Wes! Uh, yeah, how, uh, how are you? How did you um, know to call here? Well, I'm splendid, sir, thank you. I've been speaking to, uh, Dean Gaffney. You, you spoke to the Dean? Indeed. She says you're doing quite well. I was so pleased I thought I'd come pay you a visit. Lunch, Master Scott? My treat? Yes, uh, that would be, that would be awesome. Uh, when are you coming? Tomorrow. Tomorrow! Awesome. Okay, so let me just juggle my schedule around, okay? Now, Master Scott, it was intended for you to spend your time in classes at Newtown and uh, focus on your studies. I hope my visit isn't a primer for a long-term vacation. Oh, uh, Les, you heard it from the Dean herself, right? There are no worries here. No worries at all. Quite. I'll see you tomorrow then, sir, bright and early, say one o'clock, Peterson, Ca Peterson Cafe in the family wing. Great, cheers. Mr. O'Connor. Stop, there you are. Here to grill me for more questions? I only pledged my case many times. No. No, I wanted to tell you that I saw an admir admirable man speak today, and um, I'm watching him follow through on his convictions. I'm just really scared of becoming my father, and so when I see someone with a silver spoon taking their own path, it's kind of hard to believe until you see it. Well, this jackass following through on his convictions might have just cocked things up for the people around him. What are you talking? My butler, Les. He's coming to Boston tomorrow. He's gonna find out the truth. I'm gonna be cut off financially. Les is gonna be out of a job, and James. They're gonna, they're gonna take James, and he is going to be the property of Zoom. But if Les is coming to Boston, I don't think he's gonna fire himself. You know, I'm getting worked up over nothing. He's not like that. The guy's a problem. Everything I wish my father would. He'd get himself fired because he thinks there's less shame in that. I've just like, ah, uh, I've messed things up trying to be some rogue, vegan, maverick hotshot. If he's like a father, and it's clear you two are close, you can work something out. Plus, I think a rogue, vegan, maverick hotshot is kind of sexy. That's fucking disgusting. You're a fucking cunt. <laughs> You're gross. Fuck you. <laughs> it's natural. It's a human thing. That's not it's fucking natural. It's a condition. Natural. You're making fun of my condition. I'm sorry. I don't want to die. You know, birds do this to their babies all the time. <laughs> it's true. The babies don't complain. They lap that shit up. Are you my mama bird? I'll be your papa bird. Really? Yeah. Really? Wow. <laughs> 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 Uh, uh, uh.
was that? Oh, it's just my pager. What time is it? 7.15, why? I need James. Uh, hey, Mr. Romance, do you have a fax machine I could use? It's my dad. Uh, yeah. It's in the pantry. Fresh toner. Listen, maybe if you're free later we can have full penetrative sex instead of just fist clenching and eating cream. I'd love it. Hey, buddy. Eh. Anyway, are you feeling sick today? No, no. Are you feeling sick? Today. Hey Scott, uh, hi James. Um, I gotta run. It's my dad. He wants me to meet him at the office for some reason. See you later for that full penetrative sex. Definitely. Dad, you wanted to see me? Hi sweetie. I just wanted to let you know that I took care of that Brad Scott Peterson. I'm not going to sit idly by while he screws my little girl. What, what, what did you do? I made it a family matter. That uh, Zulu butler is coming in from Seattle and he's going to take the ape away and he's going to send S Scott Peterson back home penniless with his cocky little tail between his legs. No, Dad, listen, I was wrong about Scott. We need to fix this. What, now he's Scott? You little harlot. Hey, Mac Jr. Yeah, round up the usual goon squad. We've got a chance at some assets here. With Zulu lower than ever and Peterson out of the way, that fucking lapdog of a butler is next in line. What I propose? I propose you dismember the fucker and make it look like the ape did it. No, there's no rat king. No, not this time. Not this time. Bye, Mac Jr. Liz! Ah, sorry I'm late. I just got back here. Mr. Nice. Scrubs, it's good to see you. Yeah. Forgive me if uh, I'm mistaken, but don't class adjourn at 215? We do. Rowing. I'm on the, uh, the Newton rowing team. That's why I'm so moist. Oh, I love that sea, Brian. What are you, uh, what are you doing? You're collecting power. So okay. you said you were in class? Yeah. Uh, I'm on the Newton rowing team. They, they get out earlier in the academic classes. So, well, you get some shower time. And I skipped that by uh, wearing this. Feel it. Whoa. Point right. Master Scott, we both know that you aren't growing fast. For that matter, we both know that you have not been attending Newtown at all. I can't believe that after all these years, you know, you and I have a little bit more respect for Newtown. Listen. Alright, you're right. But you know how much I care for James? Neither of us had a choice in this. I didn't even want to do this. You're absolutely right. We didn't have a choice. And we had a duty to follow your father's wishes. After 30 years with the family, I'm not going to abandon that now. You know what, Les, if you have to prove something to the family, can you just please prove it to the future and not the past? But I need to be honest with you. I made a deal. Scott? What the hell is this? I have no idea what you're talking about. Les? Seriously, Les? Scott, no more listens. 
No more excuses, no more buts. James is coming to pay. Yeah, Trelawney. Yeah, I've run the corner from you. I'm at the bar on Kingston Street, a dump of a place. <laughs> no, no, not cheers. JJ Foley's. Come on, James. Come on, James. Come on, James. Let's get out of here. Scott, I'm sorry. Some loyal to us. I thought you owed me better than that. You don't deserve that ace up your sleeve, Scott. Goodbye. Put those in there, please. Get yourself situated, Master James. I know you don't like this now, but it's for your own good. Thank you very much. James, I'm gonna order some food for us. Yes, I'd like some uh, room service, please. I would like a root beer. Oh, that's very disappointing. I will have an orange crush instead. And also, I'd like two banana splits, a banana daiquiri, a banana supreme, a griddle of hot dogs, um, a bunch of... Keep the change, you filthy animal. James, let's get out of here. No offense. Peterson, uh, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave my bar. You see, the professor signed the papers over to me in her brain addled stupor, so if you wouldn't mind vacating the premises. Hey, Mac Jr., I'm gonna have to decline your offer. Hey. Less! Discount. Hey, June. Oh, la dee da. The bar's still mine, and so is your woman. Yeah. Right, uh, hey, June, let's ditch this creep, huh? June? short circuit too. Well, kind of a nice mood setter. Very sultry, kind of. So, Les, what made you come back? I didn't think I was gonna see you again. Well, Master Scott, I've always considered myself an honorable man. And I was disgusted that I even thought of turning tail and going with, with uh, McMillan. It was also terrible to follow a corrupt dying man's wishes rather than idealistic man's dreams. Hmm. That, and O'Connor tried to off me with that demon 
Mac Jr. at the hotel. Wait, what? Yeah, that troglodyte with furry brows. I'm glad he's done with. Yeah, you can thank my pet pet for that. He and uh, Max Jr. had like a weird, creepy bromance code thing. <clears throat> my apologies. Meh, nah, love lost. <laughs> well, enough of the drink for me, I think. I'm gonna have an orange crush. An orang crush. <laughs> <laughs> But seriously, two men? Well, I killed like a demon, so I guess that's like five guys or something. Come on, Scott, with a guitar? That was hardly a proper mauling the way I did to Mac Jr. No, but I also released an amber hat. Okay, okay, Hurricane Spencer, this isn't an arm wrestling competition. Les, I'm very impressed. And you, you. my hero, were very romantic. <laughs> to the brightest of futures. To the darkest of pasts. Master Scott, I am so glad you have found a respectable woman <laughs> like June. Rather than torching herself alone all the time, wanking off <coughs> to uh, JPEGs of cats. <coughs> oh my god. Uh, it wasn't uh, JPEGs, so. Wow. My apologies, I meant JPEG 2000. Uh huh. <laughs> Well, listen, next off, we need to find uh, James, a respectable female of the uh, appropriate species. <laughs> I know this is an emotional time for you. Do you feel ready? It's fine. I'm fine. Let's do this. Perforia Ozark. Dan Parker. And it is my distinct honor to christen the legacy of Newtown with our first interspecial graduate. Graduating magna cum laude, and sometimes a bit too loudly, James Peterson. Get away from that filth. Peterson, grab your fucking monkey. Dad, you need to stop that! Grab your monkey, Peterson. I'm taking you both down now. <laughs> You know, because I just think about it, and it seems so crazy, so flashed with brilliance. And I don't know. I'm just worried that things are never going to be the same again. 
scares you? Yeah. Well, my dad made his millions out of being the world's biggest asshole. And I just don't really want to end up like him. You don't have to. You can change things. You've already changed so much. I've been thinking, I just need to get out of Boston for a while. It's like, get some perspective, you know? Oh yeah? You think you want to come? Well, where are you thinking of going? Well, I gotta go to Seattle first and get some stuff taken care of. But, who knows, we can just keep traveling until the money runs out. What about Zulu? Giving it away. I'm tired of this monkey business. <laughs> Oh my god. No, you're not giving it to James. I actually looked into it and there's nothing preventing me from doing it. <laughs> there's some like loophole in the system. I can just bypass it and give it to him. <laughs> Look, that sounds really cool and like it's really amazing, but I'm kind of worried you're rushing into things. What about six months from now, a year from now? What are you going to do? Well, I've actually been working on this side project and James agreed to fund it, so. Yeah, what, what is it? Uh, okay, so zoos, they're only problematic because they keep the animals captive. But what if I came up with an idea that allowed animals to live in their natural habitat, but be ever-present for all the children of the world? Like a live feed or something? No, here, let me show you. So with this, I can create a virtual 3D image of any animal. Any animal. Any animal. Even like the dead ones. So with this, I can show the children of the world and for all the people who are interested, any animal, all right? And the live, actual living animals can be in their habitat and not be confined. But with this, we can see any animal, 3D image, and then when people aren't needing anymore, it goes away. And you know, the dead animals can stay around a lot longer than humans, so. So how does it work? Show me. Okay, so... Oh. Um, Mr. Peterson? The dignitaries from the Ivory Coast have just arrived, sir. Track 
give enough to want you to call out me yours But you halted that So it goes I sat by your hidden lamp reading Steinbeck after we made love You called me strange, we fit each other like to dry your shrunken gloves I'm a romantic, you only think you are But shallowness is your hubris Let's stop all this pretending and address this We're friends Just friends To what end? Love me for anything I am. It's not a commitment, just being a good friend. We're different, I accept it, not compatible. But you made my heart glow so, so bright. We're still friends. Am I right? Sad naked in your cold apartment after we made love there Found my way to a storyline I knew And crouched between the pages The smell of love stitched itself so 